Hi, Mike Wood here. Uh, as your coach, I want to teach you how to be successful with your online business and uh, how to make things work effectively. Uh, I can't be there, unfortunately, uh, sitting right next to you and reaching over your shoulder and showing you how to do this, but I can do videos to give you some insight and help to make sure that you can become as, uh, as successful as I am. Um, what we're going to do today is talk about listing your first item on eBay, and we're going to start with a simple little uh, hardware set for a crib that I don't need. Um, your first item should be something from around the house that you don't care about that you would throw away or give away otherwise. Uh, it could be some screws, it could be uh, an old trading card, a kid's toy, a book, a CD, a movie, uh, a piece of junk mail. Literally, I don't care as long as it's something that has no value to you you would give it away otherwise. Something small and easy to ship if you do need to end up shipping it. Not the chair or the desk or a computer or, or a glass figurine. Something simple, insignificant that you don't care about. That way, there's no worry about mistakes. Who cares if you make a mistake on it? It doesn't matter. Because it's not an item we care about. It's not an item that has value. Once you are able to go through that process, as I'm going to show you here, then you'll be able to move on to bigger and better things and build your business. It takes a lot of work to make this happen. You've got to have hundreds and then thousands of listings if you were to run this like a business and see success from it. So remember that, and remember this is just our starting point. So let's jump in and get started. All right, next step is to come in the break room or whatever room you've got. I do have fluorescent lighting in here. Um, that uh, gives a decent light and uh, I just got a white piece of uh, plastic here similar to a uh, poster board and that's where I'm going to take my picture and uh, I'll put it on here with my phone camera tap it and then it lets me in increase the brightness so I can lighten that up real good so the background kind of disappears so a nice big white background is really helpful you can buy a poster board at the dollar store a buck and you've got a great background for um, working with your images. So that's our next step is we need to take a picture of our item and take a few of them even though this is just a flat item we don't really need a picture of the back uh, if you do have a back of an item take a picture of the back I'll take a few pictures of this and we'll put it on uh, uh, on eBay. So let's go show you how to do that now. Okay so now that we've done our uh, pictures and uh, we've got our item chosen now we've got to go uh, start our listing on eBay and uh, so here I am on eBay and the easiest way to start a listing is to run a search for the item and see what you can find I ran a search for Newberry crib hardware because this is a Newberry brand crib hardware and I found zero results nobody uh, is selling something like that so I'll just get rid of one of those words and just say crib hardware Oh, look at that. There are some people selling just general crib hardware, 110 of them actually. Well, somebody might want it, somebody might not, but it doesn't matter for this item because this is our practice item, right? We don't care. We're not going to make a ton of money with this. We don't care if we make any money or if we make no money. We need to go through the motions and learn the steps, and that's really what we're doing this for. An item that we don't care about, insignificant, small, worthless. Let's move on. So we do a search here okay so we've got our crib search now what I want to do is come down on the left hand side you see all of these options here we could narrow it down by category condition format location we've got all of these options here I want to come right down here under this show only section so you see here where it says show only on the left hand side there whoops didn't mean to click on it show only and uh, what we want to do is check this box here or click on sold listings and that will refresh our page and now it's showing only sold listings you can tell they're sold because they've got a green price tag and so here's a bunch of crib hardware type items that have sold this one was uh, you know just a couple little parts here uh, lower spring guides 659 and 741 shipping well I guarantee that didn't cost 741 to ship they're collecting a little bit of money for their work and effort and packing materials and whatnot which is okay but uh, you know my product can probably ship uh, I would think it weighs less than a pound so it can ship for um, uh, probably just uh, three or four dollars first class so 
nice to see that there are some options here. I've got some uh, some hardware stuff. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's anything a little closer to, to mine, and there really isn't. But uh, we do have some hardware, so if I click on this, what I'm looking for is just to get it started in the right um, category. This one is category of cribs, nursery, uh, so baby nursery furniture and cribs. I'm going to look at a few of them just to, to kind of get an idea. And I don't usually do this. This is kind of an odd product. Same thing. This was uh, is in cribs. I'm going to scroll up to the top and look at uh, some of those up here, like that one there. Cribs. So I think we're good. This is the category I'm going to use. And so in this sold item, this was one that was already sold. Um, it looks like it's from Canada, so I don't want to get any problems there since I'm in the U.S. Mm, a lot of that kind of stuff from Canada for some reason. That's interesting. All right, so we'll go in here. This is probably the uh, um, same kind of category, nursery bedding. Okay, so I want to go back to nursery furniture and cribs, I think. Uh, Nursery furniture, nursery furniture. All right, we'll try it. We'll try this one. So right here, we've got a link that says sell one like this. So underneath the title, right down here, sell one like this. That's what I'm looking for. I'll click it. Hopefully it'll take me to an eBay.com and not a .ca listing page. Yep, it recognized that I'm in the U.S., so we're good. And this is what you're your listing page looks like currently. Now eBay's updating all the time, so by the time you watch this, your page might look a little different. If you're doing it on an iPad or a tablet or a phone, then it's not going to look the same as this. But if you're on a computer and you're in s September of 2017, it'll look like this. They're very similar. Um, but like I say, they update it often. But you'll come to a page where you can put in your product details. You can enter the um, the title. Baby crib hardware, um, upper track. Well, it's not an upper track. It's not the the colored stuff. So what I'm going to do is change this to Newberry baby crib hardware screws replacement bolts. Um, what else does this have? I can look at the item here, and it says. Uh, Allen head bolt, barrel nuts, so I can call it barrel nuts, um, barrel nuts. I want to get as many keywords in here as I can that are related to this um, product. This is for their convertible, convertible crib hardware, um, Allen head metal dowels. So these are all words on the, the product itself that I could uh, put in here. Um, let's see, uh, I've got five more characters. And if I put the space and I've only got four more characters, I don't have enough for a dowel. All right. That's, uh, I'm going to stop right there. So that's good enough. I've only got four characters left. I've used almost 80 characters. I've used keywords that are, that are likely to be searched if somebody's looking for this product. That's how we want to do our title. Nice, long, full title, relevant keywords. Okay? We're going to ignore the, the subtitle. Anything, as you're watching this video, anything I leave blank, you leave it blank. Anything I don't do, don't do. That's the way you want to do this. So we're going to skip a, a lot of this stuff. We're not going to mess with uh, any of that. I'm not going to worry about store category or anything, which you might not even have if you don't have a store yet. On the UPC, I'm going to put N slash A. Condition is used. Uh, well, technically, condition is not used. It's a new other. I'm going to put uh, condition description. Since I said new other, I need to, um, you know, it says see details. So this is from a surplus lot and appears to have all parts as indicated. Most likely, if people are looking to buy something like this, they're not looking for um, the whole set. It's just part of them, probably. All right, and now I get, come to my Photos section. So now I can add photos. I can either click here, or I can click this plus sign. Either of those are going to take me to the same page where the Add Photos there. 
and it's going to bring up this little search box searching my computer. Now I'm on a Mac right now, but it'll look very similar on a Windows computer. This is looking at my computer. Now I use Dropbox for my images, and the reason that I use Dropbox is because it automatically uploads. So this is telling me I'm looking in my camera uploads, so it's under my user, Dropbox, and then camera uploads folder. Uh, the reason I do that is because it automatically loads the uh, pictures that I have most recently taken. And so these pictures should be in here. Now what I've found lately is my my uh, app on my phone is a little screwy, and so it doesn't upload immediately. And what I have to do is go to my Dropbox app on my phone, which I'm doing right now, and click on it there, and then go up to the corner on that and click Refresh. And then as I do that, it'll refresh that, and there you can see it starts to bring my images in. It's up in the right-hand corner there. It's saying, hey, you've got a new image up on Dropbox. And so now it's, it's loading those images for me into my Dropbox folder. So now I should be able to come in here where I am already. And it doesn't like it still. All right, let's go back to Dropbox. It uploaded one image, and I think uh, I did part of the intro to this video just a few minutes ago, and so it's trying to upload that too. There was another one that just went up. So see what it's loading here. Um, 9-12-2017, which is today's date, so that should, should be this item. This is my... Viper Sharp product from the other day, pictures I took. There we go. So there they are. Pictures of my item. Now I can click on the first one here and then hold the shift key on my keyboard and come down and click on the last one and it'll highlight everything between those. Okay, so click the first, hold shift on the keyboard, go down and click the last. So if I have five images, I can click number five, and it'll highlight all of them in between, and then I can click open, and it will put all of those uploaded to eBay. Now, eBay has really uh, become more sophisticated lately, and I like uh, uh, the updates that they have because I can come in here and edit this image. See how it's got kind of a gray background, a grayish color to it? So I can click on this little icon right here to adjust the brightness and contrast. And I can increase that brightness and almost drive away that background and then increase my contrast and look at that. The background pretty much disappears. Okay, so it wasn't a, a beautiful picture. It wasn't anything fancy or, or, or anything. Lighting wasn't the greatest. I didn't uh, um, fix the lighting like I should have, like I showed you in the intro. Uh, but I can do a lot of that right here in eBay. So we'll go up here, increase the lighting, increase the contrast. And there I've got a decent image that stands out. Um, I probably want to put that one as my first image. And then this one, again, increase the brightness, increase the contrast. Try and eliminate that background as much as possible. Now with something like this, I don't want to completely eliminate it because I do want to be able to read those words too. And so I've got to be careful that I don't get rid of the words. So I'm going to crop this now. So I clicked this little icon right down here for crop. And so I can cut that right around my item. Click Save, and that will crop it to a smaller image. You don't want to crop too small or eBay won't accept it. So now we look at my primary image. And click to enlarge. That will blow it up. Yeah, I can read that real well. They can see what it is, so looks great. Um, do I want this one or the other one as my primary? I like that one. I think I'll leave it there, and I'm going to crop that one. So we're going to go in here and crop right to the edge of the bolts. Crop right there. I'm going to go ahead and leave a little bit of that uh, tattered and, and uh, um bent up paper so they can see it and they can see the hole in there. So it's very clear the condition of this stuff. But the products themselves, the items are, are uh, you know, in perfect condition. I mean, they're brand new, right? They haven't been uh, damaged or anything. So 
That's how I'm going to state it. All right, so now we've got to move on and create the rest of our listing. Brand, well, the, the brand is Newberry, and so I'm going to put that in here. Now, if you have a store brand uh, like a, a Walmart brand like Mainstays or a Target brand or something, don't put the, the store brand in there. Okay, I don't think Newberry is. Um, let me go do a search here on Google. Newberry Crib. Um, so they sell it at Target, they sell it at Walmart, Fisher Price, Mattel, Wayfair, so everybody's selling it. So it's not just a Walmart or just a Target brand, so I'm not too concerned about that. All right, MPN uh, um, part number is going to be N slash A. Um, color is really irrelevant, uh, uh, doesn't matter, but just in case somebody's putting that in there, I'm going to say silver. Style is irrelevant. Uh, um, it's not any of these. It is uh, nuts, bolts, screws, dowels. So you can add specifics here. And the great thing about this, in eBay, the item specifics is searchable, and the title is searchable. And you'll want to copy that. Well, I'll do that in a minute. I'll show you why. Um, okay, and uh, that's it. We don't need any of these other. We don't need model or size, country of origin, none of that matters. Now right here, we have an advanced button, advanced editing. So we've got standard and HTML. If you are copying from somewhere else, you want to make sure you don't get any links, then click HTML, copy and paste into here, and it will strip all the formatting from it. Okay. So if we come over here, I've got a template, and uh, this is something I can um, give you some insights on later on. You don't need it for your first listings, but what I do is I have created this template so that I, I can put it into every one of my listings, and it makes every listing look uh, the same and look professional. So I highlight all of that, and I copy it. I go to my listing, and I paste it in here, and it has all the formatting. See that? It formats everything. Now, if I go back and click Standard, because I put it in the HTML, if I click Standard, boom, it takes out all the formatting. Now it's just one big chunk of text, and I have to clean it up and you know, make my own paragraphs. Well, if I'm copying from a website where there might be links, I don't want to link back to that website. And so copying and pasting into the HTML when you have just a short, you know, maybe one paragraph description, that's a good way to do it. And then you click back on Standard to edit it and clean it up and put it in the format you want. Okay. What I'm actually going to do is just paste this into the standard section because I have the template, template formatted the way I want. If you click on that advanced edit, then you get all of these tool options and you can uh, change the sizes and everything. Don't mess around with colors a lot. Keep it simple. The only color I have here is this one section that says 100% satisfaction guaranteed, which is also centered and bolded, higher font, and so forth. Okay. Now, I told you before we want to copy this up here. So I'm going to triple click on that and copy. And then we're going to go back down here and just double click on this word title that I have and paste it right over the top of it. And it, it carries that same formatting and gives my, um, my product a description title there. Um, and then I can put whatever description I want to in here. So this is where you would copy and paste your description. I've got my template stuff here, and that's good enough. That's what I'm going to put in. I'll put a little bit, little note in here. Um, um, cardboard is a little worn, but as you can see in the photos, all parts are present. There we go. That's all I need. Something simple. Again, first listing, just keep it simple, okay? Now, the next thing we have here is the selling details. In here, um, I generally do fixed price. Um, I'll do auction style if it's something I want to get rid of in a short period of time, like five days. If I want to build my feedback or increase my, my limits, uh, if I have limits on eBay, then I can come in here and do an auction style listing for five days and list five trading cards, for example, or something like that, uh, start at a penny a piece, free shipping, auction style for five days, then basically I know that even if they only go for a penny, in five days I'm going to have those ten items or however many sold. They're going to be gone. And I'm guaranteeing myself some sales history. 
it's not a money making activity, but it does help me to get over some of the limits that eBay gives and to get some sales history, to build some feedback and things like that. So those are strategies we might talk about later that can be very helpful, very beneficial. And if you want to do that for your first listings, great. If you've got some trading cards laying around, fantastic way to get started. Again, for that you would do auction style um, listing, five days starting at a penny, 0 0.01 start price, okay, and five day auction. Uh, most of the items that I list though, I just put them up as a fixed price, uh, so they're just there, here's my, and then duration on fixed price, you can go good till canceled. If you want to do seven days initially and let it go for a week and then renew it and just keep renewing it for a while, you can do that. But eventually, once you get hundreds of items up, good till canceled is a good way to go. I don't recommend doing a scheduled start time usually, although it can be good to start them on Monday evenings with most items. Um, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday evening. So scheduling can be good for that. They do charge you 10 cents for that if you do the scheduling. But again, for your very first item here, please do not schedule it because I won't be able to see it. And I want to see it right away. So don't do the scheduling. Just list it even if you're watching this on Saturday night and doing this Saturday. doesn't matter. List the item. Buy it now price, uh, I'm going to say 7 bucks. Okay, You can put whatever you want on there. Um, I can click this checkbox right here to allow them to make a best offer. So if they want to make an offer. I'm not going to do that because if I am you know, going to sell this thing, well, I want it to at least cover my shipping and not mess with silly little offers. Uh, all right, we're not going to mess with this. Remember, if I don't do it, you don't do it, right? Payment options, you're going to check PayPal, and you're going to put your email address in there for PayPal. Uh, we don't need any of these more option stuff. Uh, sales tax. Uh, talk to your accountant to decide whether you're going to do that. For the first few listings, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it in there for Utah. Um, I always do returns accepted. You can do 14 days, you can do 30 days, whatever you want to. just makes people happy. Uh, it gives them those warm fuzzies. Very seldom will they ever take you up on it. So. Um, Refund will be given as money back. Return shipping will be paid for by the buyer. Um, and then additional details, I'll just say C listing for com see if I can spell complete return policy. And so I've got that in my uh, template there. Do you charge a restocking fee? No. Uh, or you could choose no returns accepted, which in most cases I don't do that. My return policy says, hey, if they're sold as is, they're sold as is. But I'm going to work with them however I need to to get uh, um, positive uh, feedback too. All right, so now we're down to the shipping details section. And so here I generally just do a flat uh, same cost to all buyers. Uh, and then you can come down here. You So you can do flat, calculated, freight, or no shipping, local pickup only, which you'd only do for big items. So I usually do a flat rate, and I can either put an amount in there or just say free shipping. I'm selling it for 7 bucks. It's going to cost me maybe 350 to, to ship it, 350 4 bucks, so I'll make 3 or $4 dollars on it. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to check free shipping. USPS first class, um, you can actually do just a general one. You could do economy shipping, which is great. There's, you know, so you don't have to specify a shipper. Um, since I've done a lot of shipping and I know I'm going to ship this first class, I'm going to go ahead and leave that in there like that. Um, handling time is important to do, a, a, you know, again, your own item within a couple days should be fine. eBay will increase the visibility of your item if you do shorter, but if you're doing a drop ship, you're not going to have time to get it all done and get it. This is how long it takes before it actually ships. And if you choose one business day and you don't get it out in that time, then you're going to get dinged and uh, that's a negative against your seller rating. So I usually just stick with two days. It gives me time to, to deal with things and, and sell it. Um, international shipping, uh, I for you getting started, you probably want to leave that unchecked. Um, I usually check it uh, on mine, but I, again, I've, I'm experienced on this. So leave that unchecked so you're not messing with any of that. You don't need the weight and dimensions if you're doing flat rate shipping. This is only if it's going to be calculated, so we can ignore that. Uh, and then that's it. You can see my fees are zero. 
there shouldn't be any fees for a listing like this, and then we just click list the item. And oh, looks like there's a problem. Cribs in order to ensure blah 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 blah. More information about these safety. Uh, okay. Uh, if you are selling a crib that does not comply with these, more information, uh, listings do not uh, contain this information, are not permitted. Okay, you must specify, specifically state that the crib was manufactured in 2000. Um, all right, so they're saying that you have to add this into your listing. Um, uh, the standards, you must specify the crib was manufactured in 2011 or later. All right, so they're giving me a little warning that, hey, the government doesn't like us uh, to sell these things and they think it's a danger, so are you, you know, is this happening here? So I'm going to try and list it and might just go ahead and go if they just wanted to give me the warning. Nope, it's still going to give me this notice. Looks like there's a problem with this listing. Cribs, in order to ensure compliance with the federal safety standards for cribs issued by the U.S. Consumer Protection Commission. I don't know what I've got to do to get around it. So give me a minute to check that, and then I'll come back. All right, without flying into a tirade about my feelings of over-governance, let's just see if we can change the category here and make this work. Um, so if we do uh, browse categories, this is what I'm trying to avoid with doing that, that click, you know, to do something similar is something like this. So. Um, all right, so do we have a uh, other nursery furniture? So maybe it'll take that other list item and see if we can get it. So that's the reason I, I go through that, you know, finding a similar item and, and clicking uh, to do it. There we are. The item is completed. And now you have an item ID to submit to me in the form in my email. All you have to do is double click that right click on it and copy and that copies the item number to send to me okay so there we are i'm done and i can go uh, uh, do more listings now with other things so i hope that's helpful for you in learning how to list your first item um, let's get it done go back and, and, and watch this video from the start pause it as you go and and let it guide you and follow the steps and just do as outlined don't wait don't let fear stop you from progressing Okay, uh, just move forward, find a piece of junk mail or anything that uh, you don't care about and get your first listing up there. Then we can uh, get you moving forward into bigger and better things with your business.